Welcome to Area 51 Raceway, and today we have the brand new McLaren NSR car. And holy smoke, what a Shwing. good looking car. Uh, I just put the, pulled this out of the box. I got it today from uh, from where I purchased it from. And um, boy, here's the uh, flexing wing as advertised, which you can do that. It's a little bit more, you know, not to worry about it being brittle and breaking. Uh, as far as the first impressions on the car, love the red color. It's it's a really gorgeous red, black accents and everything. This is an angle winder car, and it has the magnet, which we'll get rid of. And when we tune it, I'm going to change the guide, the wires, and adjust the front axle. As you see, the front axle is all over the place, and this thing will drag the track. Very first time you put it on there, as you can see, there's no clearance right there whatsoever on my block here. That thing will be going making so much racket as it goes around a plastic track. So we're going to do a few things with this car, but... It's a very good looking car. I highly recommend it. I'm not, you know, I'm not like a big McLaren fan, but man, this thing is a real big, big impression on me. It's a beautiful car. And of course, NSR makes gorgeous cars to begin with. It doesn't matter. Uh, they produce some very high quality cars. And I think this is worth the money uh, all the way around. And very minimal tuning needs to be done to it. I'm going to put a suspension on the uh, engine pod. And, uh, you know, like I said, change the guy with those little adjustments, which I have done videos on the Mosslers with the Evo 3 chassis without even adjusting the front axle because they're not adjustable. The cars do real well. And then I've also done the uh, 917, you know, Porsche 917K. And then I have also the Formula car that I've adjusted also. And that, that, that thing really rides nice on my track. And it's just rubber tires, you know, NSR rubber tires, no silicone or nothing like that. Uh, but there's a lot of potential in any tire you put on it and... The time you take to, you know, do some modifications to it, it's it's a fun running slot car. I love NSR slot cars. They're great. They're one of the brands that I really like the most. They're they're gorgeous, well-crafted. They're worth the money, and you get what you pay for. Now, I'm going to show you another one that I got also. This was last week. I did do a small video on these two, but I actually took these out of the box finally, and this is the Ford P68. Man, this is a really nice car. And this is the Martini livery. And uh, again, these are, you know, still available. They have it in red and white. I picked the white one. And this is the Sidewinder. And of course, I'm going to adjust the front axle, get rid of the magnet, uh, replace the guide and the wires, the braid as well, and uh, make this car run real nice too with the other ones. But it's a really beautiful car. It really sits low. It's really sleek. It's got some nice detail on the wheels. Again, NSR, they make some really nice slot cars that I never really complain about when I see them. The next car I'm going to bring out is the Mossler. And this is the dedication card to the founder of NSR, which is the, his name is on there. It's just Salvatore Novello, if I said that right. Uh, it's Italian. I know I did a video on it before, thinking this was a dedication card to the to the racer who raced with Carroll Shelby, which was totally wrong. I didn't really research anything, so I was pretty not very um, informed of what this was. But I guess this is the anniversary car, the eighth anniversary, and it has to do with the uh, the owner of NSR, which I won't get into. There's a couple of them that they do make in different colors for different years, I believe, anniversary years. But this is a really beautiful green. I got the green color because of Area 51 Racer being a you know alien-esque type of um, theme that it has. And uh, this one is an Evo 5 chassis. So the Evo 5 chassis allows you to adjust the front axle on these. So as you can see, there's grub screw. On the Evo 3, it doesn't have that. So that's the difference. And this is an angle winder. And again, tossing the magnet, replacing the guide and wires, putting a suspension engine pod on here. And, uh, you know, body screws. Loosen the body screws and just go from there. I don't know the gearing on this one in particular, but really nice looking car. Uh, they're gorgeous. I mean... Man, you can't go wrong with NSR. I really think they do a good job with making sure they make some beautiful cars. And again, this is a nice lineup here that I have to add to my, you know, collection along with my other NSR cars that I have. And I do have quite a few of them now. And uh, it looks like it's going to be time to buy a case <laughs> to make room for these. 